and i think girls do this already but i wasn't put on so i'm putting you on and blake put me on so that's just that black girl love we just gotta share the love we gotta share the knowledge share the wealth because we all we got okay <laughs> welcome back to my channel i'm jaya but you can call me holly J. and today y'all i'm not even gonna sit here in front like i'm gonna be doing a tutorial i am gonna be doing a tutorial but y'all gonna be doing it with me this is my first time doing this but we're in quarantine as we all know and everyone's been like their own everything esthetician lash tech nail tech shoe wax everything and so i've been just watching videos and i'm like everyone's doing their own lash extensions now i don't get lash extensions regularly i want to my first um experience was decent but i think she used too long of lashes not knowing that i wear glasses i don't know if anyone else that wears glasses had this issue but like at night i take my contacts out and i wear my glasses and like my lash extensions would like brush up against the glasses and that was really annoying i hadn't gotten them again and i enjoyed them i really think that they elevate a natural face like that's like you look dressed up without even you know doing too much you do your eyebrows you have your lashes on and you get to go and i'd say i'm fairly blessed <laughs> to be able to do that I'd say. Congratulations. But anyways, yeah, so like I'm not gonna hold y'all. Like this isn't me showing you like teaching you how. We're gonna be doing this together. I just wanna make that disclaimer. Like we're doing this together. So I've watched a ton of videos like I mentioned, but someone I came across that really stood out to me, and I'm sure you guys, and maybe not you guys, but people out there do this, but I think that it's like genius. I'm real, real expert level on strip lashes, and I came across Blake JL's YouTube channel. She's so gorgeous, but that's besides the point. I came across her channel, and she showed us like four different ways that she's done it, and then this last way is basically making your own clusters to then just put those on on a day-to-day -day basis or leave them on and whatnot. That may not make sense right now, but I'm gonna try to show y'all, and if you need a better idea, go over to like Agent. Go over to this beauty page, Blake JL, and she's got it all there for you. Basically, yes, we're just gonna be making clusters which make a strip. But the perk to this is that we're gonna be using lash trays to add that like enhanced look, like that lash tech, you know, lash extension look let's get into it i'm gonna stop talking and let's get into it i just want y'all to know once again you're doing this with me so this is a tutorial but really it's a lash with me because i wouldn't act like this is my alley it's not this is my first go at it now when i get good at it then when you revisit this video then it could be a tutorial <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about this is my first time, so I don't want to call this a tutorial. I want to say do this with me, okay? And that's all there is to it. So let's get started. My eyelashes are clean. I haven't worn eyelashes in a minute, so there's no residue left. Let's just get into what you're gonna need. All right, so what you're gonna need, as I mentioned, first and foremost, you're going to need to get you some lashes. And this is the lash extension lashes. I literally got these from Amazon, haven't even opened them yet. So let's open these up. These are the B and Q, which stands for best quality eyelash extensions. Now, when I watch all these videos, the girl said that it doesn't matter like what brand and stuff. So I just kind of like watching videos and seeing whose results I like. Because man, y'all, like with lashes, there's like D curl, C curl, A O curl. I don't know what none of that mean. But I would say that I naturally have they're not super tight curly, but they curl. So 
I um really just used like the links to the girls that I liked and then like read what Amazon called it and then I did my search from that. This is what they look like. And yes, I got short links. Um, I'm not sure what link the lash tech used on me, but I ran into the issue where the lashes were just too long because I wear glasses. And I have, and this pack has um, eight millimeters to 15 millimeters. And I want like a natural, like I want a natural, I'm, I'm a more of like a natural girl. Like I get extra in some areas, but lashes aren't necessarily one of them because I think like I have big eyes, like they're dramatic enough. Like look at me, just let's take a moment. Just, just let me stare at you for a second. Okay, they're dramatic enough. <laughs> they meant enough, okay? They say flowering on them and they're the 0.07D mix. So I think that means D curl and the mix stands for the fact that they're all different lengths, but I don't know what the like point decimal system means. I, if anyone knows, let me know, but I don't necessarily know. The girls that I liked, they did 0.07, so that's what I stuck with. I don't really know what the D curl is different from a C curl, but I just stuck with a D curl. And then I got the mix because I want to have a variation of lashes because I do like wispy lashes. And that's the first thing you'll need. The second thing is what Blake put me on to. He said that she uses trios. So not even just individuals. So individuals are just lash, like a lash clutch, a lash clutch. Like this is a trio. Yes. So now you can see what I mean by that. You can see on the top, there's like three prongs to the lash and that makes it a trio. So what that just basically means is it's gonna cover more ground than just putting individual, individual, individual. And these are medium length. Yes, I did go to the beauty supply store for these because it was a day where I needed to get out the house. And I got out the house. Next is this Ardell. I have two. I don't know why I'm picking both up. Ardell Individual Lash Glue. Heard really good things about this one. So I got this one. There are a few individual lash glues out there though. It's on Blake. We're gonna be using this to adhere the lash extensions to the trios. But we're not gonna use them to put it on our lash. We're gonna use hair glue. Obviously you can use lash glue for that part because we are making like our own lash extensions that are reusable washable and but lots of girls like lots of the girls like lots of the girls prefer hair glue over lash glue me personally my lash glue it's right here my lash glue works pretty decent for me on like a regular strip lash every day but I feel them and because we're trying to make extensions that can last like a week without having to take them off put them back on like strips we're gonna use hair glue so the last thing I want to mention is just that I've seen a lot of tutorials where girls are literally adding each lash to the eye, just creating their own lash, like a lash extent, like a lash tech would. But that's not what we're doing here. We're going to actually create our lashes off of ourselves, build out the lash, and then we're going to add the piece on as if you would add a strip lash. And that is why this technique really really was like spoke to me i'm like okay like we taking away all this room for error because i'm a beast at strip lashes so i was like you know what we're gonna do it this way this is the way we're gonna do it so y'all y'all grab your tools if you got them at home if you don't you know get your tools come back to this video and let's make these lashes and i think girls do this already but I wasn't put on, so I'm putting you on. And Blake put me on. So that's just that black girl love. We just gotta share the love. We gotta share the knowledge, share the wealth. Because we all we got. Okay? Y'all stay tuned. And let's, let's put some lashes on my bare face. Okay. So... I'm going to be working in this space, I guess. Um, so, JL started with, well, she said make 10. So, we're going to take our tweezers. Oh, I forgot to mention, we're going to need tweezers. 
and normally they use the like long tweezers but since we're not putting this directly on our lashes like over and over and over and over again i think we'll be okay to just use tweezers so i'm just gonna pull a few of these trios out to work on um I'm definitely going to be working with probably the 15s, the 14s, and maybe sprinkling a little 13s. Remember, I'm more on the short side, but if you are your long lashes and you you got like that's you boo, do that because I would never try to hinder you from being who you are. Okay, so. Again, this is my first time, y'all, so I'm a little nervous. I'm even nervous to just pull them out of this tray. We're gonna go into the 15. I don't know if you're supposed to pull from the top. OMG, y'all. Are you supposed to pull from the top or the bottom? Am I supposed to be getting that? Oh my goodness, this is already hard. Three hours later. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> I got one. <laughs> I don't even have no glue ready. Okay, pause. 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 You want to have your glue ready. I'm going to put the glue. Ooh, we can put the glue right here. Look at that. I'm pretty sure this is what this is for. All right. We'll put the glue in there. Period. Back to what I was doing. So here's the little piece. I know y'all can't really see it. There's a little piece. So we're gonna dip the end, okay? And and then we're just supposed to be able to glue it onto the lash. Why didn't that work? The heck? That should work on a flatter surface, so I'm gonna take this out. Let's put these over here. I can't see doing that. Dang, okay, I need something. I need something that I can see. One second. Okay, I'm back. So I got me this, I'm using what's in my house. <laughs> so I'm using this old phone case that has like elevation and it's like clear. I can see what I'm working with. All right, so back to what we were doing. So I grabbed a lash extension from the pack. So I grabbed one of those. And I also grabbed another pair of um, tweezers. I'm gonna dip this in the glue. And this glue dries fast. Poke a hole in it to get the glue again, get it nice and glued. And then we're going to place it on the lid. Take another one. And by the way, these come off really easily. I don't know why I was tripping. So be very sure that you're getting just one lash because I just picked up a group of lashes and it's really hard to try to like get them apart from one another. So try to really just grab one lash at a time. In there. And put that on this lash. Can y'all even see this? I'm seeing though, I'm seeing the look, like it's gonna come together. Actually excited. Cause I'm starting to see it. Yes, yes, yes. It's gonna be cute. I suggest a pointy tip tweezer over a flat tweezer. Thank you. Baby Jesus, that I had both. And I'm definitely laying these lash extensions on top of the trio flares. 
So y'all, I'm, I think I'm getting the hang of this. I definitely think I'm getting the hang of this. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm literally taking one lash from the tray. I'm getting my glue. I'm putting my the end of the lash into the glue, really getting it nice and saturated, like a little puddle at the end. You can dry it off a little bit. That's probably what I should do so it doesn't clump up. And then I'm putting it on the top of the trio lash, sporadically. No real, you know, rhyme or reason necessarily. But honestly, with lashes, you kind of go for like that wispy, messy lash. That's what makes them cute. Don't get me wrong though, no, I done seen some really bad lashes. Like lash extensions, I done seen some really bad ones. Cause the, the uniformity wasn't there. But because we have the trio lash on the bottom, I think how you necessarily place these lash extensions isn't too big of a deal. Just me though. I'm I'm not a very clean and cut and precise and perfection kind of person when it comes to like beauty stuff. Just don't put too much pressure on that kind of stuff. Not not necessarily, like I wanna look nice, don't get me wrong, I wanna look nice. I'm not that person when it comes to the beauty stuff. Like, I roll with the punches. I do a lot of stuff myself. Like I do my own wigs, I put my own wigs on. And I'm no professional, so. I don't really put too much pressure on myself with the beauty stuff. And sometimes that like, Makes me feel like I'm not like, I'm not doing enough because my peers do a lot over this beauty stuff like nail shape, nail length, you know, hair, um, lashes. I like my lashes like this and then they look like this and it's like the minor, the minor is thing but they just so particular. I'm just not that particular about things like this. So if what I got going on right now is bothering you boo, me and you are not the same. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll come back to show y'all how I... So yeah, y'all, this is gonna take you a little time to see mama to get your little music together, your little show together and just have fun with it. Have fun with it. Very wispy, for sure. But I'm working on the left side. So what I've been doing, and it's definitely gonna be a challenge to show you all this, but we're doing this together, right? Okay, so I'm taking one of my lashes that I've made and added to, and I'm putting the glue I'm putting the glue on the top of the lash. Not the bottom because we're not putting the lash on top of our eyelashes, we're putting them underneath. So we just need glue on the top. So basically, you know, like the, the inverse of each other. So I put the glue on the top of the lash and my mirror is right here, so. I mean, let's see, maybe I could try it in, in the um, thing. So, there are your eyelashes. Y'all, I cannot see what I'm doing from back here. I'm kinda like 
going in the area I think I'm supposed to go in. But yeah. I'm gonna have to do it in the mirror. I'm gonna try one more time in this camera. And if it doesn't work, y'all just gonna have to hear what I say, say what I do. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to hear what I say and do as I say because I need the mirror to be able to see. So I'm putting more glue on it because it dried up on the top part of the lash. Boom. And then we're gonna put this right underneath the lash. All right, let's try one more time. Get real close. Okay, I can see it, huh? Ooh, right under there and then I'm gonna like squeeze it to really make it stick and boom yo yo don't let it go let it go I think they're cute they're definitely really black to me compared to the hair um, with the color and stuff but I still think they're really cute I made them wispy they're not too long I do need to do like my glasses te test like I need to see if like they're gonna bother me with my glasses on but yeah this is a really cool version to this whole do your own lash extensions because these are reusable and you can apply them like strips instead of having to apply these little behind lashes from the lash tray throughout your eye um i just think these are like i said more convenient and yes you got to put in the time to create the strip but I think you'd probably only have to do that like once a month because these can be washed because we're using hair glue. The lashes aren't going anywhere because this Ardell individual lash glue is like super strong, which is why a lot of people don't want to put it directly on their eyelash. Am I gonna keep up with it? In quarantine, yes. If I if we get back to real regular regular scheduled programming, um, I don't know. Simply because you have to make your own strips. But at the same time, these should last me, right? So we'll see. Maybe I can update y'all on Instagram, which by the way, go ahead and follow me there at HollyXJ. Um, I changed it, but I think this is my last time changing my handle. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I'll update you guys on Instagram. So go ahead and follow me there um, at Holly X J and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me, tell me if you're gonna give this a try. Even if you're not gonna give it a try, do you get what I'm saying as far as convenience? Like, I think this is a really cool, convenient way to get the look. Um, so let me know if you're gonna try it. Let me know if you have done this before, if this like you make your own lash strips all the time. Tell me like maybe your favorite lash tray that you like to use because I use this one. Maybe I should try a different one in the future. Who knows? But I thank you guys so much for watching. It is late as hell. I need to go because this took way longer than I thought. But at least I'm cute, right? Right? In the name of beauty, right? <laughs> okay. Gonna talk to you guys later. See you in my next one. Bye.